Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this video is the second part or part B of the updated video for lab 7. In this video, we will cover how to develop the draft sheet and this will include how to get the isometric drawing and the three standard projection, the top projection, the front projection and the right side projection. Moreover, we will learn how to get an auxiliary view. Auxiliary view means, in this case, we will uh, we we'll look from a plane parallel to the surface here. And see, so we're gonna look in this direction, AA, and get the projection in this plane. So this way we can get the actual dimension of the surface here. So the machinist can finish the part accurately. So without a further ado, let's go to solid edge and start the process. So now we finish with the drawing the part, the 3D part in part A. And now in, in part B, we're going to do the draft. So let's go to solid edge. And we're going to say new new again and since the default uh, installation is NC metric and since the dimensions are in millimeter so we'll keep it NC metric but instead of choosing now choose what NC metric draft you see draft here the last one I'm gonna say okay so this way we'll get will we'll take me to the draft uh, domain so now here is the draft, so it come empty sheet and the size, the default size is D. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on sheet one and then under background, I'm going to choose size B. I prefer size B for me. Okay, I say, okay, it will come smaller. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it fit so it can fit on the screen here. Okay. So now the next step is I need to go to the view wizard. Why I need view wizard? So I can bring the part. So I'm going to click on the view wizard. It will go where I saved the files automatically. It will recognize that when I save the file. So I will look for the file for this one, which is lab 7 up updated. Lab 7 updated. Lab 7 updated here it is the part okay so I'm gonna double click this one and what I'm gonna do is this size is big so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the size instead of 5 to 1 I'm gonna make it 2 to 1 okay so now I'm gonna put the dimension this one here this is the front projection and then this will be the top projection and this is a right side projection and this is will be the isometric isometric okay i'm gonna click so i got the main projection but before i move forward so i'm gonna get select select this isometric i just i'm gonna move it here organize it here in this place so i can empty this area for the auxiliary view i can move this one up a little bit and this one to the right a little bit okay it looks a skeleton so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the shading options and make it a gray scale shaded with edges and go back again to this one right click and say update when you update it it becomes shaded right click on this one and say update now it is shaded okay to get the the auxiliary view that we're going to learn so i have the isometric the top projection the front projection the right side projection now i need to get an auxiliary view 
To do the auxiliary is very straightforward process. All what you need to do is just to click at auxiliary view. You see auxiliary, click on auxiliary, choose that. What's going to happen once you choose that? There is a line here. You see this line here? I'm going to orient to this line. I'm going to touch this plane here. When you touch the plane, it will be aligned with the surface. Then you can click. When you click, it will create the projection parallel to this one. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to just move it, move it to any location you want. So I'm going to leave it here. And at the same time, I can reorganize, I can move this arrow here to be closer somewhere here this will be good so i was able to get the three main projection and the auxiliary view aa and the isometric okay the next step will be just to put the dimensions so i'm going to say smart dimension and the menu will come here I like to increase the default, the, 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 the font size. So I, I prefer to use 1.75 and then start putting the dimension. Since this is NC millimetric, so it's going to be NC millimeter. So the dimension will be in millimeter. So I click on this one here. It give me the radius is five. This one also the radius is five. Uh, the, the diameter is five, sorry. And from this surface, this line to this line, it's going to be 15. And from the edge here to the edge here is 45. And the diameter, the radius here, the curvature here is 2.5. So it is. And the curvature here is two. So I move, I can move, move it a little bit to the right. So this way, the number doesn't go outside the, the drawing. That's good enough. Let me move it a little bit. That's good. So I got this one. I got this one. Oh, okay. The distance between. We're going to use the same font, which is 1.75, not this one, 1.75, from the center of this circle to the center of this circle, which will be 25. The other thing, I need to put the dimensions also in this auxiliary view. So we know that smart dimension. Is it one? Okay, I'm gonna make it 175. So this diameter is 7.5, and this radius here is 7.5, and the distance between, so I'm gonna choose x distance, but I will choose what? And instead of horizontal vertical, I want to use, let me move sure that a bit so I can see it. Instead of horizontal vertical, I will choose by two points. So I'm going to click by two points. And then I will click the center of this circle to the middle of the edge here. And change the font. 1.75. And this should be at the 17. Okay. What else left? Okay, now the distance, the height here is 5, so I'm going to get this height, 0.75. Okay, it is 5. And the distance from this edge, from this corner here, from this line to the other line here should be 35. Okay. OK, 
okay what else we need to get okay what about the angle here so how to get the angle so angle between I'm going to click on this angle between and angle between okay horizontal vertical it's okay then I need the angle between this line here and this vertical line and so when it comes like that the best way to, uh, to, to do it correct is just to zoom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom to this area here do you see it big so now you're going to say angle between and I need this angle between between this line and this line so I'm gonna go like this that's good and then you can say this is a 45 degrees what else we need to do let me see so let me zoom back fit so we'll go back here I have the 35 okay five okay now 45 two and a half and four, oh five okay we didn't do that okay so let's go to solid edge and let's start doing this here so let me get this diameter okay let me make the font 1.75 I'm gonna click on this one 2.5 and this distance from the center of the circle to the edge here this should be five let me make the font so you can see it better so it's five okay so we succeeded to do all the dimension we need to finish the drawing uh, the sheet the draft sheet okay the only thing left is i need to put the tire the, the name here the the full of the file here okay so how you do that so i'm gonna go to uh, text and i will choose uh, okay i choose the font and instead of one is going to be small 1.75 will be good and then make it bold okay then type it anywhere you want okay so you're done then you select it so i'm going to go back here highlight it when you see uh the, the the cross you bring it you get drag it to put it exactly in the middle here okay i'm going to show you how to edit the, uh, the 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 draft template okay the draft template as you can see here here this is called solid edge and so on but this is are in the background so how to change that okay to change that is so let me save first the file so i'm going to say save as and then I'm gonna call it lab seven updated, but it will be saved automatically under the draft uh, format seal. Yes, okay, overwrite, okay, that's good. Now, how can I change or edit the background? The, to edit the background is so, and some also someone of the uh, reviewer asked me, how can I uh, delete this envelope some uh, like uh, on on the and, and the table itself so to show you that first you have to i'm gonna go to you go to file here you see file go to setting under setting there is a folder here called sheet setup it changes okay so now under sheet setup you see that it changes the sheet size scale and so on and background so click on this one so sheet it up and do we need to use b i'm going to say okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to also under view so i need to go to the view and the background okay so now i'm in the background so now i can highlight Oh, I need to go to B. Okay. Because this is the one in the background. 
So I'm going to highlight this one. And instead of solid edge, I'm going to type the design engineer. The design engineer. So this way I can change this one. Now, if I don't like this envelope here, so I can highlight it, select it, so it becomes red, just delete it. And select this one and get rid of it. Delete it, okay. And select this one and delete it. Okay. So now this is in the background. So if you go back again to the sheet with it, it's okay. Now, it go, now I want to go that, go to view here. And they click on the background again so it will disappear see everything disappear and everything now the 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 new the new template okay uh, later i'm going to show you also how to add like your logo and how you save it as a template so you can use it uh, every time you want to use uh, the, do your own draft so the your name of the company or whatever you can you can do that okay this will end the session for this uh, part First, I would like to thank you for watching the video and I hope that you like it. And please, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell and give it a thumb up. Have a wonderful day and see you soon on another video. Bye-bye.